guys and welcome back to another video. I'm very excited for today's video because today we are going to be goal setting for 2024. I can't believe that it's already almost 2024. That like year right there just kind of sounds like the future. But yeah, here we are. For me personally, a lot has happened in the past year. I am wanting to really set myself up for success in 2024 in all aspects of life. And so I thought that today I could share that with you, share kind of like my strategy and my process for how I plan to kind of goal set for 2024. We can have thoughts formulating in our heads we can have all these loose ideas in mind but i'm a firm believer that until you really like make an intention of something that's really the only way you're going to reach your goals my goal in life and my goal here on this channel is to be the best version of myself and to inspire others to be that my channel i would like it to really encompass all things wellness if you guys are new here my name is dina i am a 20 something year old who is just navigating all aspects of life whether it be career, relationship, friendship, etc. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Basically, the way I plan to formulate my goals for 2024 is based off of, I believe it's the six or seven areas of wellness and I'm focusing on five. Sorry guys, I had to change up angles because for the first time today, the sun decided to shine very brightly right where I set up. There's so many elements of wellness to a human being's life and I'm focusing on five of them. The five of them would be occupational, physical, mental, financial, and spiritual. A lot of those, if not all of these different areas of wellness tie in together. The first one that I want to think about for myself is occupational. I guess what I'm going to do is just literally like in a notebook on a piece of paper, write down some goals. Like where am I at now? Where do I want to see myself? down a good amount of stuff with my career. I manage it all on my own. I work for myself. I would love to talk about it more one day just when I feel ready. Overall, no matter what your occupation is, I think having a productive, effective, and efficient workflow or work process is going to be super important because I'm a big believer in work smart, not hard. So if there's something that you could do in your workflow or process to minimize the amount of time spent, maybe there's some manual stuff you're doing that you can just make automatic. Easing your work process can help you get a lot more done and it can even help you get it done more effectively. This even means like on a week to week basis, on specific days doing certain things, I think for me, Mondays can be an admin day, a planning day because if you don't have a plan in place, then it's going to be so much harder to get the actual work done in a timely manner. And then another general thing I think about from time to time is how much do I want to push myself? When it comes to pushing yourself and learning new capabilities for your work, I think for me personally, having just enough pressure to push me to do something that I haven't done before or get more done in a smaller amount of time than I have before is helpful, but not to the extent where it makes you, you know, put off your work. So yeah, I hope I'm not sounding too broad with these things. I'm trying to think of like real life examples in my mind on the topic of productivity. For me, what I have found is really scheduling out my weeks. That is just so important for me and specifically scheduling my days out hour by hour. Once you understand how long it takes you to do something with your work or this can even be applied to school, and you, you know, plan it hour by hour, it puts that pressure on you to stick to that schedule. You know, nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna get everything that you wanted to get done, done in a timely manner. And then this one is just so obvious. Everyone always says this, waking up early, Guys, like on the days when I wake up a little later, it really just throws off my whole day. And so I just personally feel really productive in the early morning hours. I think winter time is actually a great time to wake up early, especially if your Muslim fudger is not so, so early in the morning. It's not at like three or 4 a.m. For where I am, I believe it starts around six or 6.20 a.m. and it ends around 7.40. I've been able to wake up between seven and 7.30 and you know, wake up for fudger and stay up after that. 
And then career-wise, obviously you guys know I have a YouTube channel, I have a social media presence. You know, I have goals in mind. I would always like to keep growing. I like to set my goals a little higher than maybe what reality is because if I'm working towards a larger goal, I'm more likely to accomplish the more realistic goals for like my social media and for YouTube specifically. I think one of my goals is to increase engagement. With a YouTube channel, I think any YouTuber's dream is knowing who my subscribers are, them knowing me, them knowing each other. That would be a really like great accomplishment and feeling. Those are just a few examples of my social media and YouTube goals. And I would also like to start focusing more on my Instagram. I feel like I neglect that because everyone says Instagram is a very hard place to grow and to you know feel a sense of community. Again, guys, I always accept recommendations or requests. So the next area of wellness that I wanna talk about is mental. I think this kind of encompasses mental, emotional, and social. I mean, I know that those are all separate things but I'm grouping them together as one the first one and I always say this in my videos is like exercise the exercise thing it's not just about maintaining like a physical physique I genuinely feel the endorphins when I go work out especially when I run and when I sweat when I feel a physical challenge if there's a day where I skip a workout and I'm like sitting all day I feel lazy and that might translate into other things like work like i might not feel as productive for me i think what has been working is doing a gym workout or just like a proper workout three to four times a week that would be like the whole exercise thing if i'm not walking or just physically moving my body that's when i really feel just kind of like crappy there's exercise for me and then there's movement even on the days when i don't plan to work out i would like to move whether that is going on a midday walk or doing doing morning stretches or doing nighttime yoga. You know, I'm not in college anymore. I'm not walking around a big old campus and it can just be really easy to fall into a very sedentary lifestyle. Something that I'm gonna touch on later on in the video is spirituality. Obviously, like I'm Muslim, what makes me feel good mentally is just being connected to Islam. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that later on in the video though, but that is a part of like my whole mental wellness. If I am doing the best I can in every area and I'm actively working towards bettering myself in all those areas with small realistic goals, then that's what's gonna help me overall. And then lastly, this is gonna sound kind of funny. I wanna practice being more chill. I probably come across as a very chill person online. People who comment on my videos say that like, your videos are so relaxing, this made me feel so calm. Well, and I am a very calm and chill person, but I'm actually not that chill when it comes to certain things like social situations, being spontaneous, when things are messy, when little annoyances come out. I'm actually not that chill because I'm someone who gets stuck in a routine and routines are what helps me be really productive and thrive. But suppose like, you know, someone wants to hang out on a random Wednesday night. I think my gut reaction would be like, oh no, like I can't do that. That's not part of my original schedule. I would like to be a little more flexible with that. I think that will help me overall mentally to feel like a more well-rounded person. Next area of wellness where I want to develop goals is financial. I know that this is a bit of a taboo topic. I think it's important and productive for young people to have conversations about finances in the past i've not been someone who thinks a lot about finances and you know as i am growing and maturing and becoming a big girl i would like to i would so the first thing that is pretty general is i want to stop buying into consumerism culture and overconsumption, and i also don't want to be a creator who promotes that i feel like we see so many influencers who are having these brand deals like multiple times a week and their amazon must-haves and when the truth is like it, you don't need the must-have from amazon sure it's an incredible invention but like realistically you don't need it most people in the world don't have it and they're living just fine we don't need the like newest trends of everything because trends literally fade if there's like a really big clothing trend for example i don't want to buy into it just because if i genuinely love something and i feel like it would be a smart purchase then i will get it it's just an important conversation to have with yourself with that being said i want to appreciate the things that i do have like i'll often think oh my god i have no cute sweatpants when in reality i have 10 
Like it's human nature. Like we just, we want more and more and more. The grass is always greener on the other side. It's also good for the environment to not be just buying like 50 Amazon packages a month. So that's that. I hate filming in parking lots. I do what you gotta do. The woman in the car in front of me just got in the car. That's great. The next goal I wanna talk about is physical. Obviously I already touched on physical goals for 2024, but specifically, I think I've mentioned this in previous vlogs, but I have been having some like knee pain and just joint pain in general. I just feel like I need to go back to the basics rather than lifting so heavy. And I've actually been focusing on that for for the past few months like with just form and going lighter on weight even focusing on my core especially because the core is you know, the main center of your body as well as your hips yeah maybe once the weather warms up this coming year i can get back into running if anyone didn't know i was a cross country and track runner in high school and i've always loved running and just how it makes me feel i would love to get back to running long distances but kind of the reason why i hadn't in the past was because i felt like it was hurting my knees or my hips and I feel so old having these issues because like literally in high school I didn't even need to stretch and I could go run like five miles I just want to like stay disciplined and consistent with all of that because it's just important to be disciplined in all areas of life if every day I'm working and I'm keeping up with my prayers and I go to the gym like I just feel accomplished at the end of the day and along with all the physical stuff is keeping up with my stretching and yoga physical wise I feel like I've been doing pretty good I just want to continue to do what I'm doing so that I can like keep progressing and moving up in weight and intensity and all that stuff. Anyways, it's dark out now and I have to go eat dinner soon. I have to run to the grocery store and pick up a few things. But once I get home, we will talk about the last, you know, category of my goals for 2024. So it's the next day. I thought I would just pick up this video. The last area of my goal setting for 2024 is spiritual wellness. Obviously, if you guys have watched my videos and visibly, like I'm a Muslim, so my spirituality centers around Islam. Something that has been kind of marinating in my mind is learning more about Islam. And I know that sounds kind of simple, but especially if you're born into a Muslim family, there's a lot that you are maybe taught when you're younger and you just don't remember when you're older and there's things I need to relearn. Some of these things might be general stories of the prophets or what is the sunnah and how to practice the sunnah in your life and what are duas that I should be making on a daily basis, whether it's a dua you say before you travel or before you drive in the car. Just like the lifestyle things, I would really like to learn more about that because I will admit myself that I'm not the most knowledgeable. Let's say if a non-Muslim asks me a question, like I wanna be able to answer them in the most proper way. And with all this, like I don't wanna have blind faith in my life. I want to know why I practice what I do. And kind of along the same lines, I want to connect more with the Quran because Quran is the base and the root of Islam. Like that is what can help me, you know, learn more about it, about the prophets and values and all these things. What's been really interesting, especially ever since everything that's happening in Gaza, is that I'm seeing a lot more people become interested in Islam whether they were born into Islam and are reconnecting with the religion or they have literally never been exposed to Islam, people are not only curious about it, but they are reverting. And it's been a huge wake up call to me and it has just opened up my eyes and made me want to learn more and connect more. So I've even kind of started doing this, but like a few nights a week, right before bed. Sometimes I just don't want to look at a screen and I've always thought reading is a good thing to do. It's relaxing yet you're not looking at a screen and so i just feel like i don't have the excuse anymore i've been reading it and just trying to really relate it to real life events especially again everything going on in palestine because the quran talks about it and it's just like literally the answer and i'm hoping with that if i connect with the quran and you know learn the meanings of the surahs that i'm reciting during prayer that i can connect more during prayer spiritually that is kind of the main goals i don't want to make it super complicated spirituality wise because it's not supposed to be so complicated now before i end out this video there's a few more things i wanted to mention that i forgot to mention like these are action items that i want to do to help me with my goals and to start off the new year well the first one of those things is unfollowing people on social media people who just don't serve 
serve me anymore, people who don't inspire me. I spend a lot of time on social media and you know, the least I could do is make that productive and connect with people who have similar values to me or who I aspire to be like or who just motivate me. The next thing would be decluttering. This could be physical, this could be mental, emotional, writing things down and decluttering your mind, decluttering your space. Ordering a planner. I uh, was actually looking online for some planners. I might go to Target today to find one. So that is really all I have for today's video for my goal setting for 2024. I really appreciate if you guys stuck around till the end and share your goals down below share your methods for planning for your future. I will see you guys in the next video.